Are you looking to grow your small business? Is everyone giving you conflicting advice? Or are you just frustrated that you can't find any advice? We're going to take care of just that after this. I've been seeing a lot of conflicting advice online about how to grow your business. So I want to talk a little bit about that. Now, some of the advice seems like it's all focused in one kind of place. For example, maybe they say what it is. It's the one thing is your mindset. Or they say it's all about your mission. Or it's all about your marketing. Or you have to focus on Google Ads. Or you have to focus on Facebook Lives. I, they go on and on and on. There's a myriad of things that people are saying are the key to growing your business. Well, let me tell you that as a business coach for the last 15 years, I have seen that there is no one answer that's right for every business. The answer has to be tailored for you and your business. So how do you go about tailoring that to you and your business? Well, first off, you have to take an inventory of where you're at. You have to understand what you're doing and what's working and what's not working. All right. And then what we recommend is that you build your business in a systemized approach. Okay, now, what does that mean? Well, we use the six steps to growing your business. It all starts with the foundation. The foundation is what provides the stability for your business. Just like if you were going to build a building, all right? If you're gonna build a house, you need a foundation underneath it. If you're gonna build a skyscraper, you need an even bigger foundation underneath it. Now, luckily in your business, you can start with the small foundation that you would need for a small business and then grow a bigger foundation as you grow your business. This is perfectly possible. And the foundation consists of four basic pillars. Pillar number one is your destination mastery, understanding where you're going and how you plan to get there. The next pillar is your money mastery, understanding all of the numbers in your business. How do they work together to generate the end result, which is cash in your pocket? The next pillar is your delivery mastery, understanding where are the bottlenecks? How do you make sure that you can deliver consistent every time? Because at this level, consistency is key. We want to make sure that we're always delivering consistently so that our clients and our prospects can count on that it's going to be consistent every single time. All right, and then finally we have self-mastery or time mastery. This is understanding how we get the most value out of ourselves and our team. Once we have this step in place, all right, then we have gone from chaos to control. We now have the stability to put on the next step. The next step is our niche level. This is where we look at marketing. This is where we understand that marketing is an investment and that every dollar that we put into marketing should give us more than that in return. This is one of the keys to making sure that we can grow our business. Now, it doesn't mean we weren't getting customers back at the foundation level. It means that now we're focused on it. We're making sure that all the testing and measuring is in. We're making sure that we can predictably produce cash. All right, so we got stability, then we got cash. Now we move into systems. Systems are all about leverage. It's about making sure that we get more out of what we put in. All right, so that we're always generating more from what we're putting in. This is the point where we're going to systemize everything in the business so that it all can be done easily and consistently every single time. All right, this gives us back time. So we now have stability, we have cash, we have time. And now we can start to focus on our team. This is not like we're going to build a team here, although we probably will build team here. We're going to build team here. We're going to have a team that works together as a synergistic unit. A team that will run the business as well as, if not better, than you do. 
right? This is where you're going to put in team leaders or uh, general manager to be able to run the business without you there. All right? And you have to understand the cycle of business at this level. This is where you understand that the job of the owner is to take care of the team, to make sure that everything that the team needs is handled. They have all of the resources, they have all of the training, they have everything that they need to take really good care of the customer. If the team understands and takes very good care of the customers, the customers will take very good care of the business and the business will take very good care of you, the owner. This is the way business is supposed to work. Now, once we have that in place, we have the structure for growth, which is our next step, growth. This is the point where we can take that step back, know that the team is going to run the business, the business is going to be able to run without us, and we start turning up the volume on our marketing and looking for cracks in any of these levels so that we can shore them up and make sure that we can keep growing and keep scaling our business up. And that takes us to the final sixth step, which is results. This is where we get the time, money, and freedom out of the business that we went into business for in the first place. Now, below this video, there is a link to an incredible download. This download is our insider's guide to success in business. It gives you everything that you need to be able to build that solid foundation for your business. So please click that link, download that document, get yourself building that solid foundation. And if you got value from this video, please like it and leave me a comment. I love to read the comments. I want your questions. I want to know what's going on in your mind. I want to be able to follow what's going on in your business. So please leave me a comment. Ask me whatever questions you want to ask me. And after you've done that, you make your like click click on subscribe so that you can subscribe to the channel and click on the little bell so that you get notifications so you, you don't miss a thing whenever we post a new video thank you for watching i'm doug barra and i look forward to seeing you in the next video oh.